Hi kids, welcome back to Stories for Our Little Ones. This time I'm not in the forest, now I'm at the beach. So I wanted to show you, it is a beautiful scenery. We've got a boat driving by right now. It's just gorgeous where I am. We like to camp a lot, so that's why I say we travel around. So I just wanted to show you where I am. Today's book is A Squash and a Squeeze, and it's written by Julia Donaldson and Axel Schelfler. He illustrated it, and it looks really cute. Oh, this is my dog, Abby. Come here, Abby. No, no, she doesn't want to say hi. So this is a really cute book. It's called A Squash and a Squeeze, and I'm going to read it to you right now. Okay, you ready? Here's the title. A squash and a squeeze. So we're going to turn to page one and let's begin. As soon as I get there. Here we go. A little old lady lived all by herself with a table and chairs and a jug on a shelf. A wise old man heard her grumble and grouse. There's not enough room in my house. Wise old man, won't you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. What's she gonna do? Look, says the man. Take your pen, said the wise old man. Take in my hen? What a curious plan. Well, the hen laid an egg on the fireside rug and flapped around the room, knocking over the jug. The little old lady cried, what shall I do? It was pokey for one and it's tiny for two. My nose has a tickle and there's no room to sneeze. My house is a squash and a squeeze. And she said, wise old man, won't you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Taking your goat. Taking my goat, what a curious plan. Well, the goat chewed the curtains and trod on the eggs, then sat down to nibble the table leg. That doesn't sound like a cool plan to me. Let's see what happens. The little old lady cried, glory be. It was tiny for two and it's titchy for three. The hen pecks, the goat and the goats got fleas. My house is a squash and a squeeze. And she said, wise old man, won't you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Take in your pig, said the wise old man. Take in my pig. <gasps> what a curious plan. So she took in her pig, who kept chasing the hen and raiding the larder again and again. Look at that. Oh, it's getting very crowded in there. The little old lady cried, stop, I implore. It was titchy for three and it's teeny for four. Even the pig and larder agrees. My house is a squash and a squeeze. And she said, wise old man, won't you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. The little old lady cried, heaven's alive. It was teeny for four and it's weeny for five. I'm tearing my hair out, I'm down on my knees. My house is a squash and a squeeze. And she said, wise old man, won't you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Take them all out, said the wise old man. But then I'll be back when I first began, she said. So she opened the window and out flew the hen. That's better, at least I can sneeze again. She shooed out the goat and she shoved out the pig. My house is beginning to feel pretty big. She huffed and she puffed and she pushed out the cow. Just look at my house, it's enormous now. Thank you, old man, for the work you have done. It was weenie for five, it's gigantic for one. There's no need to grumble and there's no need to grouse. There's plenty of room in my house. Now she's full of frolics and fiddledees. It isn't a squash and it isn't a squeeze. Yes, she's full of frolics and fiddledees. It isn't a squash or a squeeze. And that's the end. I hope you like the book. 
and I will see you next time. Probably not at the beach, but I just wanted to share this book with you here because it's such a beautiful place. And uh, have a really good day and a great weekend, and I will see you soon. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you.